it's about the moment. And I know when I'm creating my work that if I have that moment where I go, oh, wow, you know, that's, that's cool, that's really neat, I know that I'm getting somewhere, or I know that I've got it. What makes her and her work innovative is her openness to different kinds of inspiration and research and processes. And so what that does is it makes her work more accessible, I think, to the general public because she is keeping in mind an audience that's wider than the art world. It's the properties of glass that I'm really interested. It's, it's the physics of the glass. It's the moment where maybe you see a, a little bubble in the glass and that bubble, it's beautiful. And when you put light through that, all of a sudden you're, you're seeing something about the glass that was, in essence, invisible. I think that's one of the things that makes her and her work so special, is that she doesn't stay within any boundaries as far as the expected or the normal, traditional glassworking processes. I'm really interested in natural phenomenon. I love to go on walks. I love to take pictures. I have probably 24,000 images now, and that's, it's really inspirational for me to take that information, bring it into the studio. Jackie's inspiration often comes from the most seemingly mundane things or occurrences that most people would just walk right by, like the way water droplets form on a windshield and move upwards rather than down, and that would lead to a whole piece. So she invites you in to share her sense of wonder at it. Some of Jackie's projects, she's starting with traditional glass processes, but she's taking it in new directions, like some of her reflective hemispheres. She'll put in a central piece to make patterns in the glass, but she's brought it to a new place by celebrating the optical potential of that combination of this pattern with the silvered bowl. She's taking something very old and very new and presenting it in a new way. First I go into the hot shop and I create the work. So then I take all of that work back to the studio and that's when the fun begins because it is, it's like a laboratory. It's, it's, I'm experimenting, I'm making discoveries. It's about having these objects and putting them together and playing and um, discovering new things. And the thing about glass is really it's, it's, the material is alive. And so I'm, in a, in a sense, I'm really trying to bring out the best qualities of the material. I think she really thrives off that energy that comes from being surrounded by her ideas. I don't throw anything away. You know, I tell students all the time, don't throw anything out because you may find that that is your best piece and you just don't know why yet. The School for American Crafts has evolved, and what we've done all along is bring in the best makers and thinkers who specialize in various materials and traditional techniques, but not in a way that is just to preserve those traditions, but really to use them as a foundation for innovating, for doing new things with these processes, these techniques, these materials, see what can be done. I think that innovation is about taking away all preconceived ideas about something and taking it in a new direction. She has this way of being able to take these small moments and transform them into powerful pieces of art. And in that way, other people get to be in her brain and get to experience life the way she does, which is a wonderful place to be. My hope is that when somebody is looking at my work, that they get the same kind of experience that I do in the making of the work, to sort of have that moment of aha or awe.